Hey guys, um, I know I didn't make very many videos last week. I usually make two, or I try to make two, but um, I've been having family issues, so I'm trying to trying to keep in touch with you guys, trying to keep going. Um, not many of my followers actually talk to me, and you guys, I don't know if you guys are just scared to talk to me or what it is, but you guys need to like start talking to me so I know what you guys want to see. And what, um, what kind of, you know, questions you have for me. Because I am an open book. I will answer anything. So, you know, send me questions on Facebook if you're one of my friends. Or on Twitter if you're one of my followers. Or on here, send me messages or leave me comments. I reply to almost every comment unless it's negative. Which, and then I don't. Sometimes I do. If I, if I find it humorous and want to just reply back. Um... Uh, what's been going on in my life? Uh, well, everything in my wardrobe is turning pink because I am real smart and I think it's cool to just wash all my clothes in one big bundle of stuff. And it really doesn't ever, it's not a good idea because now all my reds have leaked into my other colors and are turning everything pink. My white pants are pink. My white underwear is pink. This is turning pink. My Kurt Cobain shirt is pink. Everything's just pink. So, I'm going to have a pink wardrobe for a while. Because I don't have money to update my clothes. So, there's that. Oh, and as you can see, I'm not wearing my hair today. I'm just going all natural. Um, well, I'm at work at least. Uh, I wish my hair would grow faster. Ugh. Um... I guess today I was just going to talk about um, spirituality and uh, how I view spirituality and what like what comes with all of that for me because I know there there's a few other YouTubers that are pagan or what have you and have discussed many things for people and it's really helpful to me to hear other people how they do things now not everybody does everything the same but you know. When you're new or just beginning, it's it's nice to look at other people and kind of see what works for you because everybody, you deserve to have a different, you know, way of doing things. Everybody should do their own thing. So, you know, I'm not saying that my way is the only way and I'm not saying anybody else's way is the only way. I mean, I think each individual um, person has their own way, obviously, of doing things. Just like every person is an individual. And then there's some that just like to copy other people because they're afraid to be themselves. But that is besides the point. Um, so I remember at a very early age that, uh, you know, I was different. And it, and it really wasn't just because I was gay, you know. Um, I'm sure that took a huge factor into it because I was living in a Christian household. Um, I got made fun of a lot, and I played with dolls, and, um, you know, I used to try and, like, hide my dolls from my other guy friends when I was little, so I would, like, always find some place to hide them when people were over, or I just didn't invite them in my room, you know, you know, because I was that smooth. Um, so, uh, but... Besides that, I, I always remember, I always felt like I didn't really come from this realm, I guess you could say. I always just didn't feel like I fit in. I didn't feel like everybody else did. Um, and, you know, I went through all these years of being a Christian, and that really wasn't a choice for me. It was more of like, this is what my parents were, this is where I went to, and, you know... I don't want to be that way with my kids. I want my kids to have the choice. So I'm not going to force any religion on them because I kind of feel like I was forced. And that's not fun for anybody. Um, you know, let your kids kind of – I mean, every kid needs some boundaries and some kind of morals, obviously. But you don't have to be in any religion to have morals or to know what's right and wrong. Um you really don't need 
a religion for that, you should already kind of know what those are for mankind, you know. Um, sorry, just looking at something. Um, but then I got older, and once I was outed by somebody in my church, um, who I'm pretty sure I knew who they were, but, uh, you know, it's, it's whatever, it's the past. Uh, I wasn't ready to be outed to my church. I wasn't even fully aware of what it meant at that time. So when somebody takes that away from you, that, that opportunity to come out when you're ready, that actually is a really painful experience, and nobody should be shoved into anything. If they're not ready, they shouldn't. You know, you got to have your own time and your own process. Everybody has their own time and their own process. Um, and then after I eventually left church in general, I tried out a different church, and I just felt like I didn't connect with it. And everybody was like, well, you can keep trying different churches. You know, it'll, you know, something will click. One of these churches will, will make sense to you. And I just was not looking for that kind of a, you know, scenario in my life, I guess. Um, and I don't really think that, I don't, I don't know, I just don't really believe all the hype of Christianity, and I, I, from my experience, the Christians that I knew, not all of them, and I know some now that aren't like that, but from my experience from the old church that I went to, Christians are pushy, and they make you feel bad if you don't do certain things, and, you know, like, you can't think for yourself, basically, in a Christian atmosphere. That is what I felt. That is my own personal belief. I'm not saying that about everyone or every church, because I know that's not true now, but it just felt like being a Christian, for me, it felt like the walls were coming and caving in on me. Coming not sexually, obviously, just caving in on me, and I felt like I was suffocating, and it, to me, it was like I was looking around, and nobody realized that, how crazy things are, you know, um, and I'm, sh I, and I think it's funny that Christians think it's crazy to be pagan, or whatever, when they believe in all this stuff, this other stuff, and paganism, <laughs> Wiccan, being Wiccan is not any crazier than being a Christian, honestly. And one of my atheist friends said something to me that, you know, you kind of have to have a loose touch with reality to be in any religion. And I kind of believe that to be true. I feel like you kind of do have to have your head in the clouds a little bit to, you know, have faith in religion or beliefs like that um, with any religion. But I don't think it's always a bad thing. I think that as long as you can keep, you know, keep in touch with the real world and realize not everybody sees what you see or feels what you feel, then it's okay. I feel like that's that's all right as long as you can realize that not everybody's going to think like that. And you can't talk to everybody about your the way you feel about things because not everybody's going to get it. You know, I have one friend, and she finally moved back. She was living in Kansas for a while, and she finally moved back, and she's my best friend, and she, one of my best friends, and she is the only one that I can talk about this stuff with, and she gets it. And is if you can find one person to connect with on a spiritual level like that and just talk about things, it's a good thing. Like, it's a really good thing. It's really therapeutic for me to get together with her, and I'm sure it's the same for her, that when we get together, it's therapeutic because – we are connecting in a way that we can't connect with all, you know, everybody else. So it's gonna be it's gonna be nice to hang out with her again. I'm gonna try and hang out with her this weekend. She, and I she just got back this week, so should be should be fun. Actually, she got back last week, last Friday, yeah. So, um, but I don't know. It's hard for me to explain the way I I feel about you know being pagan and, um, and what it, you know, comes with. I, I feel very connected with nature. I feel a strong connection to the universe, and, um, I 
feel like there's so much more out there than we realize and there's so much more possible for us than we realize that to me is just really amazing and it's such an amazing feeling to know that kind of stuff um and just being able to will things to happen that's an interesting thing too but it's not the only reason that i'm in this religion it's that you know and i i will say that paganism is the only thing that i am really into but i do consider myself more of just a spiritualist just kind of a wandering soul when there's something in religion that i like i take it and i use it um you know yeah, I think you're, I mean, I'm sure you're, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to take, pick and choose things you like. Christianity, Christianity to me was just a depressing religion. And the services were always so boring. Like I never got anything out of it. And at least with what I'm doing right now, I can do it, you know, meditation, uh, which is kind of like church <laughs> for us. Um, but not really, because it's it's a lot more, in our, like, it has a lot more to do with you and, like, meditating on you and having your own realizations and learning from yourself. And that's one of the reasons I smoke <laughs> tree. It's because it really helps with the meditation process and really helps me realize things that I can take in to affect and thought later on when I'm not on tree. Um, and it's just an amazing thing. I think that when you meditate, you you grow smarter, <laughs> more uh, efficient in your own life. Um, and this is, <laughs> I'm not the most educated when it comes to talking about this kind of stuff. I've never been good at explaining myself. That's kind of been an issue in my whole life. So, um, you have to excuse me, but hopefully you guys can understand me. Uh, this video has become so long, and I didn't mean for it to be this long, but I can babble on for hours. But, um, it's just a really deep connection that I've never felt with any other religion. I really connect with it. And if you find a religion and that's how you feel about it, then good. You should stay with it. You should stick with it. And you shouldn't let anybody else tell you that it is wrong or, you know, whatever. With anything in life, you should not let go of it. If that's what you really feel is what you need to do, it's what's going to make you happy. You need to do it. You need to just go for it. And, you know, mistakes will happen and people will be dicks about everything that's just how humans are it's the issues with being human i guess like i hate the fact that i'm human because i make so many mistakes and i act a fool a lot of the time i'm i can be a huge idiot um and i have the worst judgmental issues of my life and i'm and that's all something that i am trying to overcome um uh, that's something that, you know, it's just a huge factor that I think all of us, if we really could take time and focus on the things that we need to fix and just think of ways how we could fix it and not point our fingers all the time. And if we do point our fingers, we, you know, come back and ask ourselves, why are we doing this? Why, why are we saying things or hurting people that we don't necessarily want to hurt, you know? Um, you shouldn't want to hurt anybody, but unfortunately, sometimes we do, and that's not an excuse. You should never hurt anybody, um, especially, I, I know that from high school and middle school, you know, I did not have a good experience, and so I, I'm just learning a lot about myself right now. And I guess I'm going to stop here. Hopefully this video made sense. I know when I babble, I never write anything down because I want it to all come across as genuine. I don't want to sound fake because I know a lot of YouTubers write their stuff down. And maybe that's smarter 
you know, let me know if you think I should get my thoughts together better when I make videos. But to me, I want to see the real side of somebody. And if I like them, I want to see the real side of them. I don't want to have some kind of scripted, like, all well thought, you know, well thought through process. I want to know the real them. But if you guys feel different, you guys should definitely let me know. Let, let me know how I'm doing on my videos because I never get any feedback. I never get even told if I'm good or if I'm bad. And I get the occasional negative comment that every YouTuber get, you know. But for the most part, I really don't. I don't know. I have quite a few subscribers, and I, I hope to get more. If you like this video, subscribe. There's many more to come, I promise. I'm going to keep doing this even if I have zero followers. Like, I, this is something that's therapeutic for me, and, um, and it's nice. So I like talking to you guys, but I want you guys to talk back to me because I feel like I'm talking to a wall and nobody is responding, and it would be nice to hear people just talk back to me. It, it gets frustrating when you, you know people are watching you, but you just, nobody's talking or, or saying anything. So definitely get a hold of me, you guys. Tell me what you want to know. Tell me, you know, is there things that you would like me to review? I will review things. I am up for anything, anything and everything. So get at me, and hopefully I'll talk to you guys later. You guys, you guys better start responding. All right, you can follow me on Twitter. I'll put the links below. Um, if you guys want me to make a, a Facebook account for my YouTube channel, let me know. And then let me know how many people would follow, you know? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.